Hello friends. So this problem is about breaking of a cube from the ground. So we have two cubes. So this is one cube and this is another cube. And both are identical and the masses of these cubes are given. And the mass is m. And there is a spring. And this spring basically connects these two blocks. And the spring constant is given k. Now this system is initially compressed and this is connected by a thread. So there is a thread. So this thread. And now this thread is basically burnt. And then we have to find what should be the minimum compression in this spring so that one of the block just leaves the ground. So let us try to read this problem. So it says the figure shows two identical cubes each of mass m connected by a light spring of force constant k. The spring is initially compressed and the cubes are connected by a thread with a spring compressed. So spring is compressed and these two blocks are connected by a thread. We have to find the initial compression so that on burning of the thread, finally lower cube will break off from the ground. So we have to find what is the minimum compression in this spring so that this block just leaves off. So this block just leaves off. So let us try to see how will you do this problem. So let us say the natural length of a spring is somewhere here. This means there is no compression and from this natural length this spring is compressed by an amount of x0. So this spring is initially compressed by amount x0. So we have to find the value of x0 so that this block just leaves off. Just leaves off this means it will leave with velocity of 0. And at the same time this block will also have a very a small velocity you can say this, this block will have a zero velocity. Now once you cut this rope or this string what will happen this block has a tendency to go up. Once it tries to go up this string or this spring basically will try to elongate. First it will come to the natural position that is this position and then it will go further up. So let us say this goes further up by a distance small x. And this a small x should be such that this just lift this block. It has to lift this block. So at the time, so basically this system is kept on ground. So at the time of lifting off what we have, we have to have this bait that is coming in the downward direction must be balanced by the spring force. So what will the spring force? The spring force will be kx. So we can write one equation that is kx is equals to mz. So from here we can say x should be mz by k. Now you have to find x naught. How will you solve this? So one equation we have written from force and another you can write from energy conservation. So you have to write second equation from energy conservation. So energy conservation. So let us write yourself, pause this video, write equation for energy conservation, use equation 1 and solve for x0. Okay, so let us try to solve this problem. So we can see the solution. So what will happen in this case, what we will do is we will write total initial energy is equals to total final energy. So initial energy energy is equals to final energy. So this we will apply final energy. So initially there is only one energy and that is in the spring. So what was that half k x naught square. So this is the initial energy. And finally we have some energy in the spring. So what is the elongation in the spring x. So half k x square and we also have some energy, some potential energy on this mass. 
what will be that value m g x but you see if you consider this as a potential so basically this block has lifted through this height so gain in potential energy with respect to initial position is x plus x naught so you can have m g x plus x naught so this is the final potential energy with respect to initial situation this is the gain in potential energy so now you have to solve for x naught so you can write you can multiply both side by 2 so k x naught square is equals to k x square plus 2 m z x plus x naught and we know x is nothing but m g by k so let us plug this value x is equals to m g by k so you will have k x naught square is equals to x is m g by k and this is 2 m z and x is nothing but m z by k and then we can write 2 m z x naught so you can solve this so k x naught square is equals to m square g square by k plus 2 m square g square by k plus 2 m z x naught so you can take this k this side so this will become x naught square and this will become 3m square g square by k and then if you divide by k so this will be 3m square g square divided by k square and then plus 2mz by k times x naught. So you can solve for x naught because this is a quadratic equation x square minus 2mz by k x naught minus 3m square g square by k square is equals to 0. So if you solve for x naught you can write minus b that is 2mg by k plus minus b square that is 4m square g square by k square minus 4 is c so plus 12m square g square by k square and divided by 2a so simply divided by 2 so from here you can write x naught is equals to 2mz by k plus minus or simply if you divide by okay let's divide later so this divided by 2 plus 4mz by k plus minus so from here you can say one solution will be 4 plus 2 6 divided by so 3mz by k and another solution will be minus mg by k. So negative solution has no meaning because x naught is a quantity, it's a numerical value and it's a compression we have already considered. So this cannot be possible. So only possibility is x naught is equals to 3 mg by k. So you have to basically give a minimum compression of 3 mg by k, then only the lower block will lift up. Now question for you, now let's say if initial compression in the spring is given that is more than this. So if initial compression, initial compression, let's say initial compression is equals to 4 mz by k. What will happen in that case? Will both block will uh, go with some velocity or they will have a just zero velocity? Will these two blocks have different velocity or they will have same velocity? So let us discuss all this in the comment box and I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy, please share with your friends and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.